welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play part 49. Alright, so I am excited. This part I'm finally going to get to do some Red Power 2 stuff. So that's good. A couple things I want to run past before I um, begin. As you can probably tell, I got somebody back. I just went to the last place I had seen him on the video. It turns out he had, must have gotten put in sit mode accidentally. Probably when I was trying to feed him. So I just went to the last place I saw him, and there he was. While I was out doing that, I took my sticky dynamite with me and blew the cave apart, because that was kind of fun. And after I brought him back, then I went back and mined a whole bunch more, used the rest of my sticky dynamite, that kind of thing. And so now, as you can see, I've got enough nickelite to build everything. On the way back, I built this sickle, which is crafted, uh, let's see here, like this, just sticks and then whatever along like that. And I used it to grab these flax seeds and some indigo flowers, and I also found uh, some rubber tree forest on my way back, so that was cool. I also actually found an apple from the leaves of that rubber wood tree when I was working at it, so that was intriguing to know. Um, I also actually found a above ground, well not really above ground, but just barely below the surface zombie dungeon. Um, I didn't do anything, it was just under sand, which is kind of cool. Uh, I just ignored it and moved on. I, oh yeah, the flax. I, the flax seeds can actually be planted, and so I planted them here, which I think looks a lot nicer than trying to have wheat there, because it sort of prettys it up and hides it and all that. Still got my wheat. I had some slimes down here and it trampled some of my wheat, so that's annoying. Okay, and yeah. Oh, and I got a new mod. Um, I saw this mod and it was so cool. I had to get it like that second. It's the backpacks mod, and I'll link it in the description as usual. But basically, what you do is you go like that and you can make a backpack. If you put a die in the center, then you can get a colored backpack, and if you put a diamond in the center, you get a uh, name. Well, it turns into a magic backpack, so hey, whatever. Be gone! <laughs> right. Anyway, so magic backpacks. And what magic backpacks, unlike the other backpacks where they have only a set inventory and then if you lose them because you die or whatnot, you lose them, magic backpacks have a infinite, well not infinite, but I mean um, shared inventory. All magic backpacks have the same 27 slots and if you die or you lose your magic backpack, you get the same 27 slots back when you remake it. So useful. And because this is exactly what I needed to store those stacks and stacks of Nikolite or whatever. And so I'm quite pleased. That's a really cool mod. The recipe's kind of cheap. I mean, I don't know. I mean, just one diamond. But I guess it's okay. Anyway. So. Oh yeah, one more thing I discovered. Electric wrenches from an IC2, they actually have two modes. There's lossless wrench mode, where if it's disabled, then it only takes a little bit of power to bust up a machine, but you might lose it. Whereas if it's not enabled, let me take my lap pack off here to show, it takes more power, supposedly. But still, so that's good to know. Very good to know. I did not know that before, and I dropped my furnace down there. Come back, furnace. Thank you. Now, you might wonder, why on earth am I busting up my furnaces? Well, the answer is because I don't really need them. I've got my induction furnaces, and because I'm going to put something else in this spot. So I'll just put that there for the moment. I guess I really don't need that, because that was originally so that I had the cables going some to the underneath and some to the top and all that. That was really a long time ago. But anyway, so for first thing I need to do is I need to grab some of my clay. 
And what's interesting about this clay is I've actually had this clay. Um, I went back and looked. I got most of this clay, well, some of this clay back in the first episode ever. And I got the rest of it back in episode 5. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to turn clay quickly back into the clay balls. So, I'm going to have to do it this way. I need to get it back into clay balls because I need to turn it into bricks. Because I need 24 brick blocks in order to make three alloy furnaces. And I need alloy furnaces to combine things like coal and sand into um, silicone. So... There we go. So now... I put it on the furnace, like that. Okay, now it's all bricks this up. And 24 bricks. And like that. And alloy furnace. Okay. And they look like that. So that's good. Alright, so now I'm going to use charcoal so as to save my Coal. And it looks like I don't have any sand, so I gotta make some sand here. Don't know how much I'll sand I'll need, so I'll just make plenty. Like that. Alright, so I'm going for thermopiles. Thermopiles take battery boxes, let's see, blue alloy ingots, but also blue doped wafers. Blue duct wafers are made with silicone wafers. Silicone wafers are made with silicone bowls. Silicone bowls are made with charcoal and sand. So it looks like 8 turns into 1 turns into 16. So, alright, I guess I'll just make a stack. Which would be several stacks. Yeah, I'll just throw a stack of each onto the uh, alloy furnace, and then I'll see how far that takes me. Because I know the overall price of what I'm going for, I just don't know exactly how much it costs as I go through each step. Um, let's see, back, iron. I'm also going to need a handsaw. And a screwdriver, so I'll work. So I'll grab those while I wait for the um, uh, sand to crush, or rather, the rock to crush into sand. Let's see. I got my diamonds, and then I think I said I wanted a stick, so I'll grab some of my wood while I'm at it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I go you know, like that. That, like that, and like that, diamond handsaw, and that, that, screwdriver. Screwdriver is to the wrenches, well, is to, a screwdriver is basically a wrench, but for red power. Okay, 64, 64, put the next batch on, like that, okay, like that, mm, I need more charcoal. Eh, 60. I'm actually thinking I should have, to, I think I'm going to get my um, tree farm going up again because at this rate I'm going to be out of wood soon. There. 
We'll leave 32 for actually needing wood, because you never know. Alright, so... Put that in there, and then... Uh, yeah, it looks like I have to actually... Fuel the furnace. Hmm. Alright. Not a problem. I'll just do that and see how much it takes. Okay. So this... No, I'll leave that for now. Okay. Silicon bull. Awesome. So, I'll let that keep running. In the meantime, I'll do that and that. Make silicon wafers. Okay. Now, what was the next step? Just combine them with Nicolite, alright. So, let's grab some Nicolite. Put that like that, that like that, that like that. Awesome. So, I guess I'll just let that keep running. My goal is 80 thermal piles. Each one will take two, so I'm going to need 160 blue doped wafers. 160 blue doped wafers divided by making them 16 at a time is I need 10 silicon bools. So, right. I'm going to pull some of that sand out. That's six. Okay, I guess I have to have equal numbers there. Oh well. That'll be 14, so I'll have made a total of 15. So let's think here. I... Oh, no, it takes 8 to make 1. Excuse me. So... So I need 2 more. So... There. That should make 2 more for me. There. That will give me nine silicon bulls, plus that one should give me enough blue doped wafers for phase one here. Okay. So now I do that, and I do that, and I do that. Put that there. Okay. Put those there. So now I just gotta watch this. Though actually, I bet I can. Do this like that. Okay. So now I'll just keep an eye on them and keep them stocked up as needed. I'm running low on Nikolite in that one. I wonder what happened if I did that. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, in that case. I'm going to do that, and that, there, because it will go through each of those, let's see, at a 1 to 4 ratio, ratio I need 4 stacks of Nicolite for 1 stack of that, so for that I'm going to need another couple stacks here, yeah, I knew I'd be using up my Nicolite like really fast like this. There. Now, in theory, I'll have some Nicolite left over, because I would really would need 58 in each stack here. So... Because it pulls from that first stack. So I just need to add five more. Like that. Let's 
think I'm off by one. Yeah. Well, actually, no, that's perfect. Awesome. Although, actually, I think I was off by one. Alright, so I need to go that. Like that. Nope, it looks like. Alright, so I think I'm good for that one. Now, for this one. And I think the simpler way, now that I realize it, just pull them all out like that. Need four stacks of 51. Okay, okay. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, and that. And then I just put these in. Like so. There. Now, in theory, that will do the thing, and they'll finish. Pull these out. Alright, now. Blue doped wafers are done. Blue aloe ingots. How do we get those? Silver ingots with nickelite. Okay. Roughly how many do I need? Let's see, I need 80 for that at least. So... I guess I'll go for, let's go for 100. So 100 would be a stack plus, see that's 96. There, that should be 100. Okay. And let's do 108. There, make it simple. Okay, so then I would need, let's see, 108 times 4. 4 would be 432 divided by 64, 6 and 3 fourth stacks. So, 6 and 3 fourth stacks, that's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't even know if I have enough room for 6 and a half stacks. 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 75 of a stack. Now I'll just do an extra stack and make it simple. So we'll do that in this chest. Can you add charcoal on over here? No. Alright, let me go... Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll put... I'll smelt this into charcoal. Use this charcoal to start the silver nickelite into blue bars transformation. And then I'll go plant some more trees and get more wood that way. Here. And let's see. Like that. And like that. Now, can I do that and that? Sweet. So now I can just let that run. Let that run. I'll go ahead and pull these out. Like that. Oh, I have extra silicone wafers. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's go plant some trees. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, but I ran through the end and grabbed a bunch of ender pearls. Which is also why I'm 116 now. Which, speaking of 116, the level there, I've decided. That hurts, kill me. I've decided that I um, I'm not really gonna spend it on anything. I could enchant something, but the problem is I can only enchant the basic vanilla Minecraft item. The electric stuff for industrial craft doesn't enchant. It looks like it enchants, but it doesn't actually use its enchants. So, I've pretty much decided that I'm just gonna hang on to it and treat it like dragon egg or something, you know? Something that's there to show off that I've beaten the ender dragon and didn't even need an enchantment. So, Okay. Let that 
that sit for a bit, and then, then I'll have wood. Oh yeah, by the way, I had to bust this half step here, because ever since the collision boxes were removed from ladders, it actually broke it, because you couldn't go from a ladder up onto a half step like that. So, that's unfortunate, but, oh well. Leave it like that, so I know what goes there. Alright, so let's see how my stuff's doing. All still running, that's good. Okay, got a nice amount there, nice amount there, and nice amount there. Very good. Okay, what else do I need? Oh, I see, I also I need 160 of those, 80 of those, but I also need iron and copper. Well, let's see. I'm going to make 80, and it's 4 per, so it's 80 times 4, 320 divided by 64, Five stacks of copper. Okay, so let's think here. That's going to be a stack and a half of ore, which is a stack, and I've already got. Okay, so I'll just do that. That'll be four stacks, and then I'll figure out the rest from there. Okay, I'll just do that. Grab this sand here. I'll put the sand over here for the time being. Like that. Okay. That will finish. And I'll have seven more. Let's see, I'm going to... Do that, and that, just so I can count this in my head easier. So that's 120. Ten hundred twenty three hundred thirty one fifty thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight one hundred thirty eight out of curiosity one hundred thirty eight plus twenty two is one sixty okay so I need to f smelt these as well so I'll do eleven like that eleven times four is forty four. So I'm going to need 44 in each. Okay. Nikolai, and that. Pull that out. Put that in. There we go. There. So now, as soon as that finishes. So there. So that's 140, 149, 150, 160. So this is good. Okay. So now I just gotta wait till that's finished. These are going nicely well. How are these guys doing? These are already all done. Very good. Very good. So now I come over here. And I smelt them, and they should be just finishing up as these finish up. Okay. I thought I had more than that. 45 plus 63 is only. Mm, I did that wrong. 45 plus 63. Is 108. All right, I guess that's right. Oh yeah, I was only going for 108. Okay. All right. Getting close. Two left here. Three left there. I can put this nickelite back in the chest here. Let's see, after those, it's actually not quite done, because then I'll need BT batteries. A BT battery is just copper and tin. That's e easy enough. Easy enough. You'll notice that, though, this copper and this copper look different. This is the sprite from IC2. This is the sprite for I uh, red power. And the same goes for the tin. So, that's... Oh wait, I'm gonna need tin. Hmm. Anyway, 
bat box or battery box takes four. I want four, so that will be sixteen. Sixteen times six would be ninety-six. So I need a stack and a half of nickelite. Okay, stack and a half of nickelite. Iron, not a problem. Blue alloy ingot shouldn't be a problem. Wood. Okay, so I actually can uh, make the batteries right now. Let's see, I need 16, so that's 32. I guess I don't have enough. Let's see how this is doing. Okay, this is all done. Good. Let's do that. Done, good. Okay, now this should be enough, hopefully. So that, okay, that's done, good. And that's done, awesome. And this can keep going. Alright, so now nickelite, tin, copper. That means I'm gonna need about 16 tin, actually. Ten. Like that. And then come over here and smelt it. There. All right, so now I go tin, and then copper. And then Nicolite, like that, 16 BT batteries, awesome. Okay, and check on this, good. Now according to this, then I need, so I'm going to need like four of those, 12 iron and four wood. So I've got that. Got only two wood. Hmm. Okay, see, this is why I planted those trees earlier. Okay. Yay for the timber mod. Which I was actually able to tweak the config file so that my chainsaw works with it, so that's awesome. Okay, easy enough. Alright. Gonna leave it as logs for the time being and just only turn it into wood as needed. Like that. Alright. Grab some iron. Like so. And then I go like that. I think. And like that. And that and that battery box woohoo okay so that's still running so the battery box is done now i think i can actually make the thermal piles now so thermal piles okay so i need 80 in each spot just doing the math here again it's 320 it was five stacks. So do I have five stacks? Not quite. Uh, I need more copper. Actually. That's right, because I was going to have that and that. Alright, so I'll just do that. That should get me close enough. Because 64 minus 25 is 39. And I put more than that in ore and it multiplies. So as soon as this hits 40, let that keep running though. Like that. There. Alright, I'll put that back there. Alright, so now I've got everything. I just need to add 160 bits of iron. 
160 would be... Why do I have a sapling in my hand? And I could probably dump the arrows as well. And I'll put the bow in there as well. Okay. Oh, actually, wait a minute. <laughs> I have a magic backpack. Let's actually use the thing. Yay. Eh, sure. I mean, I'm just gonna be in my base, right? Okay. So now, where was I? I lost my thought. Uh, thermopiles, I think it was? Oh yeah, iron. So now I do that, and that. And... That. So now... Cool. So now I go... Like that, and like that, like that, like that, like that, 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 and that? No, shoot, I forgot what goes in the middle. Um, yeah, it was blue aloe ingots. This should have worked. Copper, iron, blue doped wafer, copper, iron. Okay. Cop iron ingot, copper ingot, blue doped wafer. It's not complaining because it's not icy. Yeah. Let's, let's see. I wonder if it's because it looks like it wants copper from red power instead of icy 2 that could be it hmm huh if it's not liking my copper I'm not sure what to do I mean the recipe is clearly if I can get back over to it Hmm. Huh. You see, you can use either copper here, but it looks like only you only get that out. So you can convert one way to the other, but you can't convert IC2 to RP2, it looks like. And under these copper ingots, you get thermopiles. But, if I go back to the block here, go to these copper, you get everything but thermopiles. I know they're really new. I think they were introduced in this version. So, hmm. Well, I guess, since I can clearly show that I've got all these resources and I obviously you know copper is copper I think I'll just sort of you know oh hey look it worked okay so there's my first 64 so then I just go like that and like that and like that, like that. Realize I don't have any blue aloe ingots anymore. Do that. Do that. That and that. That and that. That and that. That and that. And obviously it worked. Alright, so now I have 80 thermopiles. Which I'm going to divide into two stacks of 40. All right, so now that that's done, just need to do one more thing. And then I can start building these. Need to grab some buckets, actually. All my buckets. Um, let me think, let me think. I don't know if I actually... Oh, I know where I can get lava. 
course. My quarry uncovered some lava. So I'll just go over there and grab it. Because I was thinking, where am I going to get lava? Oh, yeah, by the way, I opened this up a bit. As you can see. So it's easier to get here. Let's see. Let me put on my jet pack. Which is probably should not do that in there because it's too con unconvenient to grab it, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, I was lagging. I couldn't fly. Oh, well. I do have it on hard still, so I'm still going to get mobs down here. Alright, but hopefully this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just need to fly over here, grab some lava. Which I didn't mention why I'm building thermal piles. Um, solar power, there are two generators. Ow, ow. Double ow. Maybe I should t focus on what I'm doing more and... Alright. Before I die... This would be very embarrassing if I died in my own base. <laughs> right. Well, since I'm healing kind of slow, I think I'm just going to do it this way. There. How hard was that? Okay, so where was I? Thermal piles, right. Thermal piles work by generating lutricity when there's a um, difference between um, you know what? I really don't know how thermal piles work. Um, you put lava on one side, water on three others, and then they generate lutricity. Technically speaking, they generate less blutricity than if you would than you'd get if you had solar panels. And I'm trying to avoid the monsters here, but the thing is, I don't like solar panels. I simply don't, because solar panels are, um, well, they have to have the sun, and that means I'd have to build a base above my base, and I don't like that because the whole idea is I've got a hidden underground base. Which is along the same lines of why I went with water generators rather than solar generators for my industrial craft room here, you know, ages and ages ago. It's the same concept. So, so yeah. So I'm going to come over here. I already pre-built the room that's going to have these thermopiles. And I d did some calculations on a test map and determined that 40 of them stacked up would generate plenty of power. So I figure two stacks in two key locations should be all I need. So let me just drop down here. And build this up. probably lose a few torches when I fill this in, but I don't care. I've got plenty of torches. Alright. So now, I put, I'll put lava on this side. Like that. And like that. And like that. Hopefully that will get all the way to the bottom. And then I'm actually going to have to... Um, go get more water. Not unexpected or anything. Okay. And like that. And then what you do is you put a battery box like so. And let's see, yep, it is pulling power, so that should work. And then I put a second one if I can. Because I had some difficulty because there we go.
like I placed these blocks to cover this stuff. And then I was having difficulty getting power from the bat box, battery box, again. So I realized the easiest way to solve the problem would be to simply add a second battery box on top of it. Like so. And I don't think that's going to work. Hmm. I'm going to try and get back to where I was. So I will let these guys charge for a while. It'll probably take a while for the water to reach the bottom anyway. And I know it'll take a long time for the lava to reach the bottom. But, oh well. Okay, so I'll let those guys charge up, and then when I go to build the sorting machine assembly, they should be ready to go. And then over here, I have pretty much the same setup. go. Drop down here. And place them down like this. Again, lava on the far side, and water on both sides. Oh shoot. <laughs> Good, got it. Wouldn't want to lose a battery box. Cobblestone, like so. Yeah, see, I realized that my initial room wasn't simply wasn't big enough, so I had to still do some more building. Okay, like so. Yeah, I just need to go get some more water. Which, yeah, I don't have the <laughs> nearest infinite springs actually way back all the way over here. I think I'll fill all my buckets while I'm at it. There you go. Hmm, although, if I want... Eh, I'll leave them, actually. Although, actually, eh, I'll bring three, because I know I'm going to spend one, and then I'll end up with the two, two, like I would like. Oh, Alright. Drop that in like so. That there. That there. That like that. Good. And then... I guess I'll do that. So I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's charging it pretty quick. Good. Get rid of this gravel here, because I hate gravel. Well, I don't hate gravel, I just don't like gravel. And then... Oh, shoot. Oh, good, it stopped. <laughs> oh, nice. Didn't cause me annoyances. Like I was saying, I really don't like gravel. the green. The other one should be starting to be charged by now. Okay. We need blue alloy blue alloy wire now that I think about it. So let's go back, check on the other one, and then I'll get back to my main area and resume building things. Hmm. 
Yep, see, it's starting to charge. Charging at a good rate. And remember that it's charging both battery boxes there. So, that's cool. Okay. So now that all that's running, I can resume making stuff.